Welcome back to my channel. I do apologize I haven't uploaded anything for a few months. I've just been very busy. So today I have the brand new LOL Surprise and OMG Remix doll pack. So there are four OMG dolls and four LOL dolls. So this is a big box and it is pretty heavy as well but I can see why. And hopefully I might just be able to pull it out or I'll have to drop it out. Oh my god. Okay. There we go! Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> wow. Right, so here is the box. I've had to put it on my bed because it's too big to go on my desk and on my drawers. I also just realized my light isn't going to help this in any way apart from circling the doll's head. So that means I'm not gonna use my light. I've gotta be really careful that this box doesn't fall back because my cat is sleeping on my bed currently. Like, look at him, he's literally just behind it. So, um, I gotta be careful. Anyway, so we have all four of the RMG dolls on the front. I can't remember all of their names. I don't think their names are on the box either. And then on the side here are the four LOL dolls included, which I don't really care about. I just bought it for these. The box is pretty much the same on both sides on the European version. All it says, well, all the differences is the language. There so is a handle on top and it does move up and down. So easy to carry. Let me see my cat's having a wash. There are some little symbols on the top, on both sides. On the side here it just says LOL Surprise, OMG, Outrageous Millennial Girls, Remix, Super Surprise, and that is a mouthful. And now I have to figure out how to get this bad boy open. Um, yeah. I managed to get it open, so it opens like this, and we have two giant speakers. I'm gonna guess we have to open this in an order like they did with the other really big set, the one that came with Uptown and Downtown BB. And there's some instructions or something down down here. Here are the four OMG dolls. So we have Ferocious, Bad Girl, Fame Queen. I think she's my favorite, but I'll have to wait and see what the doll is actually like. And there's Metal Chick. And of course the four LOL dolls. We have Fierce, Baddie, Goo Goo Queen, and Metal Babe. Anyway, just before my camera decides to die, I'm gonna go ahead and open door number one. I'm gonna guess you spin it, pull it. Okay, maybe I do need the instructions. It just says remove dial. What does it mean by remove? Do I pull it? No, because I'm gonna rip the box. Oh, oh, I think I get it. There's a little tab. Nope, that's gonna break my nail. I did it, finally. Oh my God, that actually really hurt. Cause I managed to pull this one off really easily. So I tried this one again and I literally, I had to yank it. It just wouldn't budge, but this, this one, that came off really easy, look. <laughs> but the other one's just like, no, I'm going to stay here. MGA is now using, well, for the LOL brand, instead of plastic, they're using paper. And it's recyclable. That's fantastic. And I might have to keep some of these because they're really cute. Anyway, oh, we have some shoes. We have some shoes. I'm just gonna put them on the top here whilst I open door number two. Okay, as you saw, this one came off really easily. So I'm gonna guess these are shoes again. And they open really easily as well. Yep, more shoes. Oh, they're two different colors. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's cute. And door number three is down here below the speaker things, the dials. Oh, there's tape. There's tape. There's tape, everyone. Look how cool this is. It, it spins. We have another little pink bag. And once again, I'm gonna open it from the back. Oh, that is cute. It's a little pink and black guitar. Okay, this, oh. That is really cute. Maybe I'm changing my mind on the LOL doll, although I haven't seen her yet. So, four, number four. It spins, oh, this is great. Oh, okay, it fell. Oh, I know who this one is. That's Fierce. I think her name was. Oh, it's another guitar. Oh, it's adorable. I love these little tiny guitars. They're really detailed. Anyway, door number five, I think it is. Yes, number five. What is that? Oh, symbols. Little tiny green, uh, green? No, gold symbols. Look. That's cute. Oh, and they have little uh, crack details and little hearts. That is cute. 
Oh, by the way, I'm putting all the stuff, all the LOL stuff up here. So, yeah. Anyway, door number six. The final one from this side. Oh, it's a Kita. I think, or is it just keyboard? Is he using a Kita? Yeah, I think it's a Kita. Look how adorable that is. Oh, it's, oh, has it got a stand underneath? It's, it's got a little stand. That's cute. Okay. All right, that's everything from that side. Now to door number seven, and it's another one of these. Oh, look, it comes out so easily. What was with the first one? Oh, I ripped it. No. <laughs> Here we have some cute little shoes. There you go. Got little cheetah patterns. And then number eight. Oh, this one. Oh, there we go. Got it. Oh, look at these. Look at these shoes. They're sparkly. I love this type of, is it iridescent glitter? Holographic glitter? Whatever you call it. They are cute. Look at them. Love it. Okay, so door number nine, which is down here. We have to undo this tape again. Oh, that was much easier than last time. Okay, door number nine. There we go. Oh, oh, it's tissue paper. Oh, wow, those are some shades. Wow, I'm gonna guess that for the OMG doll. Oh my, look at that. Okay, door number 10. Oh, we got some more glasses. This time it's for the bad girl. And I, I dropped them. So these ones green with like slimy drippingness to them. And we have door number 10. More glasses. Okay, I'm gonna guess all of these are glasses. There we go. Look at these really cool ones. They remind me so much of like Monster High glasses with how they're shaped and they got the little spider webs on the side. And then door number 12. That's fine. Oh no, this isn't, these aren't glasses. This is a crown. This looks cool. All right, so that is everything from the front of the box. We have the instruments for the LOL dolls, some shoes, more shoes, and the glasses for the OMG dolls. This is really exciting. Like the unboxing experience is wow. I've never experienced something like this before. There's just so much. And isn't there like 70 surprises or something? Like we haven't even touched the surface yet on what is in this box. Okay, so we need door number 13, which is over here on the tops. All right, so this actually is a door. <gasps> what? Okay, we have the RMG dolls here. And yes, there are stuff, there's stuff behind these little tapes. Oh, they got the numbers on. Wait, so where's number 14 and the 30? Is it this little, no, I am confused. Did I not do that correctly? Right, so I have figured out exactly what those surprises were. So pretty much 13, 14, 15 and 16 is just this so it's the surprise of what's inside the big door that is on both sides which means we can skip straight down to number 17 the cassette player i really like how we're going back to the time when cassettes were thing like kids nowadays would have literally no idea what this is no idea anyway this is the surprise we're gonna get it open the guitar oh my god i really want to see what these guitars were like because i think they play music as far as i'm aware quite heavy so let me get this open oh my god though my it's very chunky but seriously cool and they have batteries i think oh my god look at this look at this look how cool this is like literally i feel like a child on christmas right now this is so exciting and it might play some sound That is so cool! It's got six different sounds. So just different beats, I think, from the looks of it. That is so cool. All right, so that can go back. So now we have number 18. Oh my God. There we go, got it. Oh, I know what this is. This is the little drum kit. Okay, here are the drums. So it looks like we have different drums this one's the speaker but the other ones i think do play music i will test that out in a minute that made me jump <laughs> one, two, one, two, three, four. God. This is, so cool. it's actually very loud as well which is quite annoying because i don't really like loud noises that come from toys because it just doesn't sound right to me but anyway, it also has this harness piece, which I'm going to guess the drums attached to. And there's also another surprise in there. Oh, it's a symbol. Singular symbol. I think that's meant to be a symbol. And drumsticks. 
Look at this. Look at the little detail in this. Look how cool this is. Oh, I love this. Okay, now for number 19, which is it? It's up here somewhere. Let me just figure out what it is. I'm gonna guess I need to open this. It, you literally, oh, I don't wanna break it. I'm scared to break it. Is this okay? Can I pull it? Feels like it's gonna rip like really bad. Oh, okay, I needed to pull the drawer out. <laughs> Okay, I'm now on to door number 20, which is this one here. I'm gonna guess these are the LOL dolls because they're just about the right sort of size. Oh no, it's stuck. No. Yes, it is. I have no idea who this is gonna be, but we will find out. Oh, ooh, it's Fierce, I think. Yes, Fierce, there we go. There she is. Paint job is, a little... most places okay, it's just this one tiny bit above the eye and there's a bit of orange on her eyebrow apart from that she's fine and now door 21 oh that had been much easier oh my gosh she has glittery hair my absolute weakness and this is goo goo queen oh, i love the hair oh my god i think i like this one Oh no. Um, her paint job is pretty decent. Now for door number 22, which is the green one down the bottom here. This is Baddy. She has earrings, which is really cool. Don't think they come out, no. My God, her paint job's actually really good. But yeah, there's Buddy. And then the final one is Metal Babe, I think. Oh, I don't like her as much. I don't like her hair. I don't think it really matches the style. Her face is cute though, but not so much the hair. Just... Okay, now it's time for door 24, which is actually on the side of the platform. That is one fancy headband. And then door 25 is on the other side of the platform. That Oh, it's a hat for um, uh, Fame Queen and the hat. This is very similar to Shadows, although Shadows doesn't have the like crystal texture. Oh, look how good that looks. Okay, now we're on to these little um, tapes. So number 26, oh God, I don't wanna rip this box. But I feel like I'm gonna accidentally rip it really bad. Look at this. Oh, that is so pretty. But look, oh my God, yes. Okay, I really like that. And it's just this really simple little piece as well, but it looks great. Okay, now for door number 27, which is this one. Don't rip, please don't rip. No, it's ripping. <laughs> it's folded so nicely. Oh, we got, oh, it's this. This is Metal Babes, or no, what's her name? Metal Chick, I was close. This is her like coat thing. I'm trying to figure out, they're not beads. It's got a really cool texture to it, but I'm still trying to figure out exactly what it is, but this is impressive. Okay, door number 28. Ah, this one is Bad Girl's skirt piece. I was kind of expecting this to be a little nicer, although it's still really nice. Oh, it's got a chain. Ooh. Yes, yeah, it's got that like caution tape, but it says warning extra on it. I kind of feel like the hangers are a bit pointless for these because they're not really doing anything. But anyway, door 29. I swear if I rip this, I'm gonna cry. No, I ripped it. Ah, uh, no. Oh, this is the piece I wanted to see. Oh, look, oh, the color is incredible. Look how lovely this looks. The color is amazing. Oh, this is very eye blazing. It's a bit wonky in a few places, but still really nice. Okay, number 30. This is Metal Chick's like puffy skirt. It's, this is very cute. Oh my God, oh, it's quite big as well. It's not stiff, it's very flowy, very pretty, covered in lace. Okay, I like that, that is so cute. Not really my style, but really cute. Okay, door number 31. No, oh, I ripped it again. Stop. No, no, I ripped it. You didn't even see that because it's not in focus, but I just ripped it. Oh my God, will this stop happening? It's fine, it's fine. Look at this. Oh, wow, this is obviously Fame Queens. Just, just look, oh my goodness. MGA, the, the amount of detail you're putting in is incredible. These are any Playline dolls and look, it's beautiful. Hey, number 32. Here is, ooh, I like this belt. Look at this belt. And these are like actual chains as well, they're not plastic. Oh, this, the amount of detail, the MGA, mm, I know I keep saying that, but 
this doesn't need to be this detailed, but it is, and I love it. Okay, last one over here is number 33. Ooh, I was wondering when we come across this. So obviously this is Bad Girl's, like, uh, sleeveless jacket, yep, and these things. Haven't figured out whether these are arm warmers or leg warmers, but I've seen them being used in both ways, so look at that. I dropped it. Wow. This is amazing. Look at that. Okay, the next door is... Metal Chick's door. So I know that we don't actually see the OMG doll straight away, because I think there are some surprises in the door. Oh no, it's telling us to go have a look at her next. Okay, we will do that. This whole thing comes out and it reveals this like tiny playset. It's adorable and this will be amazing for some backdrops. I do apologize about this angle. I really don't have enough room. <laughs> but anyway, door number 35. Do I just pull and it comes out? Yep. Yeah. There she is, it's our first OMG doll. So this is Metal Chick. Look at her face. How pretty. Her face looks flawless to me. Oh no, there's a sl it's slightly misprinted here on the eyelash, but apart from that, her face is perfect. And her hair, oh my god, oh it's so soft. So pretty. Very neat. And her top looks perfect, although this leaves slightly off, but that's fixable. And her socks. Oh my gosh, she is so pretty. Oh my god. And the um, little stitches here are actually real stitches in silver thread. You've got to be kidding me. There was a secret thing underneath the doll. Okay, let's open number 37. It's her shoes. It's her shoes. Okay, the black one is slightly misprinted with the, the pink, but it doesn't bother me too. I mean, it does bother me, but not too much because it won't be notice noticeable when the doll's actually dressed. But oh my god, the details carry around to the back. Okay, and now it wants us to like, take a look. Oh, I did it wrong way around. She was meant to be next, and then it was the secret of the bomb. Oh well, doesn't matter. Did it slightly wrong. <gasps> yes. Oh my god, look at you. Okay, I can already notice there's a bit of a misprinting on the lips, or is it meant to look like that? I think it's meant to look like that, actually. <laughs> Here we go, here is bad girl. Oh no, she does have misprinting on her eye, so it's slightly rubbed off. Right there, if you can see that. It, my camera's not wanted to focus on it, but it's right there. The other eye does appear to be fine, so it's, oh no, misprinting just there. But apart from that, she's fine. She's wearing a glove, that, oh, and a ring, look at that ring. I didn't even see whether um, the other one had a ring, but, oh. And she's wearing all this fishnet stocking outfit with this sort of swimsuit sort of thing on top. Oh, and she has another glove and another ring. Now for the little box underneath. So number 38. So just plain green shoe. And it's got this little uh, chain attachment that goes over the top. It's kind of like uh, Cosmic Nova shoes in a way. Oh my god, there are little spikes on the back. OMG shoes might just be my favorite shoes ever and that's beating Monster High and they have some pretty good shoes. Right, so now we are onto door number 39 and that is right at the top, just here. So this is Bad Babies, is that her name? I always, I just keep forgetting each of their names, which is, oh, it's just Baddy. Baddy. Okay, door number 40, which is the one below it. Oh, this one's bigger. Here is Metal Chick's guitar, or well, double guitar. I don't actually know what you call this, but it's a double guitar. Let me turn it on and listen to the sounds. Oh, nice. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> uh, look at the details. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Okay, now, now for door number 41, which is right at the bottom. Oh, it's just a simple brush. I wonder if we'll get a brush for each and every doll because that's kind of a waste of plastic. Just being, just loads of brushes. So it's just a standard OMG brush. Anyway, now for door number 42, which is on Metal Chick's side, which is right at the top, just here. Yes, and we got Metal Babe's outfit. Oh, it's falling off, no. I will dress all of the dolls right at the end once I've got everything out. Oh, we have more on this side. So door number 43 is a smaller door. Oh, that's a cute little bottle. Bottle, bottle, bottle. 
little milk carton. Okay, that is actually really cute. Okay, door number 44. It's a little necklace. That, oh, I could have dropped that. There isn't anything else, no. So it's just a tiny little necklace, which I've got to focus on. There we go. Just pink and black. Anyway, door number 45. Oh, it's this, it's a little um, corset piece for a metal chick. Oh, look, it's got the little uh, details on the back as well. And all the spikes are coloured. Door number 46. Little tiny bracelets. These are so small. If I was a kid, I would have lost these immediately because I just tended to lose the little tiny bits and pieces. Door number 47. Another necklace. I think this is exactly the same as the other one, just in black and gold. Okay, now for door number 48, which we are getting towards the bottom of this side. Oh, we got an earring and we have... Oh, we got two earrings and another brush. Oh, I hope there weren't earrings in the other one. Okay, we got some tiny little, like, uh, spiky earrings. At least I think they're earrings. There we go. So, two of them. Okay, now down to door number 49, which is right at the bottom here. Okay, we have this really awesome spiky belt. This really reminds me of something from Monster High because a lot of them had like spiky belts. Although the spikes were never this long. At least I think this is a belt. Oh no! What does it go in someone's hair? Might be a hair clip type thing. And we also have this really cool choker necklace. It's got the hoop there. Look how cool and detailed this is. Anyway, now for door number 50 and that is the last one on this bit. Oh, I think this is a bottle. Yes. Oh, that looks cool. Look at that. It's got like green dripping slime. So it looks like one of your regular Starbucks cups, but with slime. So now I think it's door number 51. So that is, of course, Fame Queen's side. So I'm going to pull this out. Oh, there's the background. Look how cool the background looks. Oh my God. Okay, so 52 is ferocious. Okay, let me get my camera focusing straight onto this so you can see the doll in all of her glory. Hair. Oh, she has like, like, like braids in her hair as well. Let's pull you out. Come on. Yes, there we go. Oh my God, her hair is beautiful. Okay, here she is. And then looking for any defects. I don't think... She... Of course, there's a bit of misprinting on the eyelashes, but that's about it. And there's a mark on the chin, which I'm hoping will come off with acetone. But she looks fantastic. And her hair, I didn't even know she had these like braids in her hair. That's a really nice little detail. But she's wearing this leopard print, um, is it a leotard? And then there's one leg, which is like fishnet. And she also has this like metal looking hand. I know that Fame Queen has this as well. That looks really cool. Now 53 is Fame Queen, so let me get that focused. And you ready? This is the one that I was most excited about. She look good and she's got wonky eyes and wonky lips. Oh, fun times. Okay, here's a look at her. I didn't know she had two colors in her hair though, that's nice. And her eyes, so they're slightly they're printed slightly too up. So you can see where the molding for the eye is, but they're not quite on it. I think that's the only defect though. And the glitter on the lips what makes it look like she has a mustache. But oh my God, her eyelashes. Wow, that is some winged eyeliner. Look at that. She's got that robot uh, metal looking arm again. Very cool. She's wearing this little crop top bra type thing. Uh, these little pants and of course the tights below them. I think they're, yeah, they are sewn together. But yes, very, very nice. Okay, now we have these two little boxes. Okay, so number 54. Oh, oh, it's the shoes. Of course it's the shoes, what's last time? <laughs> so these are the shoes. I thought they were the same as the bosses, but I don't think they are. I'd need to do a check because I do actually have that doll. But, oh, these are so pretty. I absolutely love this color. Oh, it's slightly smudged here. And the laces are very nice in the backs and they also have these um sort of leg warmer things that go over the top these are very similar to kitty k another doll i do have so i'll just do a comparison between them out off camera but um i think there's pretty much the same thing happens you just put these over and they look like some really long boots okay now for fame queen shoes 
Now these ones I have been excited to see because they look fantastic. Look at this. Wow. That is detailed. Oh my god. Okay, that looks fantastic. I don't know what you'd really call this. Is it? It's not a corset, but uh, I don't really know what you'd call it, but it looks fantastic. Oh my god. Yes. And now to her boots, which I was very excited to see. They have that sort of metallic-y beetle glaze sort of look that a hat did. Oh, so they're not just like plain black, although they are just plain black here, which is weird. But oh my god, and those spikes on the back and the heel, that these are some very tall boots. This right, so we're back onto one of the side door things. So starting at 56. Oh, okay, this is the um, Goo Goo Queen's outfit very glittery i have to admit i really do like all of the glitter that is being used on this particular lol doll very very cute not sure it's really appropriate but still cute okay doll number 57 which is another really big one so that will be the final instrument the uh, final instrument which is the guitar that is one big boy wow very pretty though it's kind of got a sort of shine to it which makes it look slightly purple but it's not but let's uh, check out the sounds oh my god those sounds wow that was the most different one so far and that actually hurt my ears so we have door number 58 which is right at the bottom of this door so right here please don't rip please don't rip oh i got it no i didn't it ripped what is wrong with this door this is the only one that's been ripping this bad. So it's this sort of like um, shoulder pads and choker and this really cool heart necklace thing. I don't even know how to describe this properly, but it's very cool. I really like all the chrome stuff they're doing with these. It's very pretty. And I think these here are the final accessories. Yep, number 67, which is at the bottom. So final, final lot of stuff. So we got door number 59. Look how easy that was, that opened so easily. So anyway, we've got the leopard prints, top and bottom. So this is obviously for Fierce. Got no, door number 60. Oh, this is another bottle. So this is Fierce's bottle. That's uh, another one of your Starbucks cups. Got a little um, clip thingy here. Bobby pin, is that bobby pin? Whatever type of pin. Yep, another bottle. Okay, door number 61 is right next to it. Ooh, we got some fingers glove type things. Oh wow, these are like actual faux leather. Like even something this small has this much detail on it. Look at that, amazing. Now onto door 62 and I ripped it again because of course I did. Oh, this is another brush. So I'm gonna make sure there aren't any earrings in this that I'll lose, yes there are. And the two chrome gold earrings. Very nice. Door number 63. Ah, it's the choker necklace type thing. I don't I don't know if it's a choker, but necklace and um it's got spikes on it. Another chrome accessory as well. Very nice. Okay, door 64. A single gold bracelet. Just a little gold bracelet. Okay, three more doors and we're done. Oh, they're the same as crystal uh crystal stars earrings. Oh, these look so good in silver. Okay, we got these earrings. These are the exact same as Crystal Stars, just in one solid chrome colour. Oh, these look fantastic in this colour. Wow. Okay, door 66. One more door after this. Oh, we have some glasses. Oh my god, these look exactly like a pair of Spectra's glasses from Monster High. Like, don't they? They look like the ones that came in that fashion pack from, uh, like, 2012. Okay, final door. Number 67. Can we the final bottle? Yes. Oh, this is like a um, fizzy pop can or a soda can if you want to call it that. And it does say pop on the front and it's silver with a red band around it. That is everything, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully it is everything because if it isn't then I don't know where I've missed something. I'll be right back with all the dolls dressed and ready to go. Okay, so here are all of the dolls, all dressed, all together in the little playset. I'm gonna start off in the middle here with the LOL dolls. I'm still not sure whether I'm gonna keep them or not. I mean, LOL dolls really aren't my cup of tea. Um, so I, I, I don't know, I haven't made up my mind yet. 
But over here is Fierce with her very cute little guitar. My favorite out of the four is this one, which is Goo Goo Queen. I just love her glittery hair. Like, ah, oh, I just love glittery things. Not a big fan of her glasses just because they kind of squish her head a bit. But everything else, yeah, she's cute. She's my favorite out of the four. Then down here is Baddie. She's my second favorite, I think. I just really like her face and her earrings. Everything else is just a bit eh, not really my thing. But she's cute nonetheless. And then the final LOL doll is Metal Babe. To be fair, I think she's my least favorite out of the four LOL dolls. I think that hairstyle just completely ruins her look for me. Just because it doesn't really match her sister very well, who's very over the top with her hairstyle. And this one's just... Yeah, that. But I think her instrument is my favorite out of the four LOL instruments, so that's good. Oh, and these little um, tube things, they can actually stand in them and you can turn them around to make it look like they are part of a show, although it's kind of difficult. There we go. So you can turn it around, turn it back around, and boom, they start playing their music. And now for the reason on why I'm actually here. Right, so first up for the OMG dolls is Bad Girl. I like her a lot more than I thought I would, but she's still not my favorite. Also, you cannot put her jacket on along with the drum kit. It just won't work. And also, I have already lost quite a lot of the little... Um, these gold things. I've completely forgotten what you call them. But um, lots of them have already got lost. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm not too happy about that. But everything else in her is really nice. I love the little leg warmers. They are so soft. And the fishnet tights, the skirt is actually much better than I thought it was. And you can put the drumsticks through the ring hole in her fingers. And I just put her rings in her ears because she didn't come with any earrings. I thought that's quite a nice little touch. And her drums, oh my god, they are so cool. And of course they do make noise. I'm not going to make any of the noise because I have already done that in the unboxing stage of this video. She has such a pretty face. I love the use of the purple and the green. Like I don't think that's really something we've seen with the OMG dolls yet. But yeah overall I'm very happy with her. She's much better than I thought she'd be and that is good. Okay moving on to Metal Chick. Okay um she is really really pretty there's just something that's slightly off about her and i don't know what it is it might be the jacket piece or the sleeves uh the silver bits these little um things that i thought were beads they fall off so easily i've lost so much of it um so i will probably take this off and display her without it Plus, she does look better without it, so yeah. Anyway, her boots are adorable. I love them. They give me major Dracula and Monster High vibes. Same with her skirt. I really like her really poofy skirt. And I think her hair is the nicest out of the lot. It's definitely the softest. And overall, it's the tidiest. But once again, I don't like the glasses. She looks better without them. She has such a pretty face. She has, I think, the best face out of the lot, especially with the lips. Like, these are the best painted lips I think I've ever had on an OMG doll. Yeah, overall, very happy with this doll, although her guitar is huge. Uh, it, I'm not going to display them with her instruments. This, this one is the only one that looks good with her instrument. The other ones with the guitars, the gu they're just too big. And they don't really fit around the doll's body very well. And next up we have... Ferocious. I'm not sure if the crown piece is hers. There's nowhere on the box that says it is, but I just gave it to her because all the other ones have accessories in their hair. Okay, I have to say, I love this doll. She's so much better than I thought she'd be. I didn't like, I don't think she was my least favorite at first, uh, but now that I have her, she's one of my absolute favorite OMG dolls. I have seen some pictures of this doll where her hair is an absolute, just complete mess. But I think I looked out on this one as the hair is perfect. There's not, no need to do anything to it. Her face is also really pretty. There's just the mark on the chin, which I need to remove. And her outfit. I love her outfit. Like that shade of blue is the most perfect shade of blue. And I love the color blue. I also love her faux leather gloves and the like faux leather boots as well. Like, they look fantastic. And then there is her guitar. Once again, it's way too big for the doll. It just doesn't sit very nicely. But overall, it does match. And then we come to my favourite doll of the pack. I knew that she'd be my favourite. 
And that is, of course, Fame Queen. Just wish she didn't have the wonky lips. Like, let me just remove her glasses. Oh yeah, these glasses don't stay on her face very well. Uh, if you were to just knock her ever so slightly, these glasses will fall off. Like, there's nothing to actually keep them attached to the face. Seriously, everything about this doll is amazing. I love her skirt piece, although that's being covered by the massive kitar and her boots her tights everything about this doll is perfect and the addition of the dangly earrings just makes it ever so just so much better i have to say when i was putting this uh like choker piece on the heart did fall off so i had to super glue it back together i don't know why it fell off but i'm just letting you know that that might happen to your doll hey so bad girl gets a seven out of ten Metal Chick gets an 8 out of 10. Ferocious gets a 9. And Fame Queen gets a 10. I just like how they're all in order of the ones that I like the most. Like, least favourite to my favourite. I didn't even realise I did that. So, yeah, that is the entire set. I have to say that the unboxing experience is definitely the best bit of this actual set. Like, dressing the dolls is cool, but the actual unboxing, oh my god, I've never experienced anything like it. It literally feels like you're opening a bunch of presents, because you don't have a clue what you're gonna get next. Like, seriously, it just feels like you get multiple presents in one huge box. Of course, the OMG dolls are of excellent quality, like, collector quality. Not Mattel collector quality, proper collector quality. I'm sorry, Mattel, but your dolls really aren't very good at the moment. <laughs> I can be assured that Mattel does not like me now. Like, there is not a single detail that they've left out in these dolls. Everything is there. The instruments, of course, do come with the batteries, which is very nice. So they do work immediately as soon as you actually remove them from the packaging. Each of the dolls do come with a doll stand, which is actually packaged with the actual doll inside the boxes. And of course, as you saw, they do come with brushes which just kind of seems a bit pointless but oh well and it's so nice that you don't have to throw away this box after you've opened it you can use it as a playset. and all of the rubbish that you get with it is all paper and it's all recyclable there is a lot of rubbish i have to say but recyclable that's like the step in the right direction mga i'm i applaud you for that that is very good the only plastic that you're really gonna throw away in this set are the little uh, like mannequin pieces and I dropped them <laughs> that the lol clothes came on uh, that's pretty much the only plastic in this whole set and the little bag that keeps the instructions in but yeah there's like no plastic and I'm, I'm very impressed overall I have to say this set is worth it I know it's 140 pound is a lot of money oh yeah that roughly is hold on let, let me go get my phone let me find out how much that is in us dollars quickly because i know most of my viewers are american and they will want to know hey siri how much is 140 pounds in us dollars 140 pounds is 180 us dollars and 98 cents but seriously though it is worth it especially for the four omg dolls the lol dolls and of course the whole unboxing experience and apparently these dolls might be being released on their own which is great for any of you collectors which don't really want to have the whole set but i wanted the whole set so i bought this this set is fantastic for any collector young and old it really is that great and if there's children wanting this, then yes, go for it. It is really that good. Just beware, there are a lot of small parts and you will probably lose them. I'm sure I've already lost something. But overall, I give this set a 10 out of 10. Right, so I'm going to get going now. I hope you have enjoyed this review. Make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And let me know if there's any other doll sets you want me to actually review. Because I might just do that. Thank you all so much for joining me. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye!